Hey everybody, Andrew Fantasia here, and I just watched the new trailer for The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, I'm assuming it's our final trailer because that game is coming out pretty soon, but I just had to think of what to take away from this because there is so much to take away from this trailer. My goodness gracious, we've got all kinds of stuff happening here. We've got so much being thrown at us. The other trailers were all about like drip feeding us information and this one was just, you know, the dam was broken and everything just poured forth. We got Link fighting other people on vehicles rolling across Hyrule. We got our first good look at Gleok, the three-headed dragon and all his 3D glory. That's one thing I loved so much about Breath of the Wild is how it took characters and villains and monsters that we haven't seen since like the OG Zelda game and it adapted them into 3D, but it still kept that look where uh, it's that retro look where the weakest ones were red and then the next strongest ones were blue and then the next strongest ones were like white. Ah, I love how they did that. So getting to see Gleok was amazing. And uh, we got a new character, a glimpse of a new character, and she's some lady and she's got gigantic ears. I actually feel a bit sorry for her because those things look like they weigh a lot. But she's got, more importantly than ears, she's got what looks to be one of the tears of the kingdom around her neck. At least I'm going to assume that's what those things are because they're kind of tear shaped. So I'm going to go ahead and guess that those are, in fact, the titular tears of the kingdom. And I'm going to also assume that our job as Link in this video game is going to be to collect said tears, you know, collect them, make sure we got them all. And then when we get them all, something good can happen, because usually that's what happens in Nintendo games. And we got tons of footage of Zelda, tons more new footage of Link running around Hyrule. And to top it off, our first good look at Ganondorf. This game's version of Ganondorf, my favorite video game villain of all time. We got our good look at him and he's evil and his hair is still red and he's laughing up a storm because he's a bad guy. Wow, there's a lot to process in this trailer. I need to watch it like at least five more times to kind of see everything that's going on because there is so much of it. But those were just my takeaways of the Tears of the Kingdom trailer and everything that we saw. And the stakes just look so much higher than they have ever been. Hyrule looks like it's being rebuilt. It looks like you are part of that process. And we see what looks like a bunch of other dungeons and puzzles happening. Things that look like old school dungeons anyway, not like the shrines from Breath of the Wild. So I feel like maybe, I don't want to jump the gun here, but maybe, just maybe, Nintendo's actually doing something they never seem to do at all, which is listen to what the fans are saying and apply that to their work. Have we broken new ground here? I don't know. Tell me what you think about the Tears of the Kingdom final trailer. Uh, I'm off to try to watch it again and make sense of what I saw. Uh, until next time, everybody, may you be the masters of your own Triforce of Destiny. I think that's how the saying goes.